Yo people, welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. You might recognize me from a different channel called Gejebujarts. However, in that channel I mostly speak Dutch. And for everyone to understand what I teach, I made an extra channel called Gejebujarts English. And even if you are Dutch, I'll advise you to also subscribe to this channel. Because it'll have exclusive content so you don't miss anything. Please enjoy all content still to come. And now let's focus on today's video, Big to Small, episode 1. Here we go! Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this first video. A Big to Small practice I did quite some time ago. I think this video is almost a year old. Uh, I still had it on my computer and I found it to be a perfect uh, opportunity to... Um, make my first English video. I'm not an English native speaker. I do think I speak fluently, um, but um, I'll make mistakes here and there. If you can help me out uh, anyway, uh, please let me know in the comments. But I hope it's understandable for everyone. So in this practice, I just throw the balls uh, open, uh, open wide on the table and trying to get them as close together, preferably into the city American. Made a few points and now I have a good position um, to uh, make something happen. Good position on the red ball here. And I'm trying to gather the red ball through three cushions to watch the white, to be with my cue ball, um, the ball that is mostly uh, above the situation, which it does right now. Messe shot, um, technical but not that um, difficult, um, but I have a good position on the white ball here. And that gives me the great opportunity to go towards the best position in the game, Serie America. At the left top you'll see a um, display of a white ball in which I will let you know where I hit the cue ball um, at every shot. Except now because I also, or I already have the great position so I... Uh, stop doing that, but you'll see that in a couple of uh, seconds. And at the right top, you'll see uh, the shots I needed to get towards that uh, great position. So you can follow along um, even effectively, even more effectively. Thumbs up, alright. First um, try succeeded. On to the next one. Trying to get a different position every time I uh, do this practice. Because I want to make sure that it doesn't matter which position I'll get from my opponent. I still have the confidence to play one inning. And this training is pretty good uh, to get that confidence. Nice shot right here. A lot of draw on the cue ball. Left English to get a, uh, a good um, line on the, right, on the red ball as well. Which I do right here. Maybe a bit too... Uh, a bit too much speed, but I get a good position. A two cushion shot, little left English, and I uh, play them behind each other. I do have a lot of confidence in my Masse, so I play that right here. And I try to get a good position on the white ball, which I have. Trying to go closely towards the red one and play the white ball, two cushions towards the red ball, which I did right now. Now I'm going to create a little space between the red and white ball so I can go in between, like I do here. And now I play the rappel, uh, which means that at the end of the shot the red ball will still hit my cue ball. That happens now. And the rappel is a very a good way to keep small positions. Cushion first here, so I get a automatically good position on the red, which I can gather now through uh, two cushions. And I have a good position. The primary objective of this position is to get my cue ball, the yellow ball, at the other side of the position. So I have a good opportunity for that now. We call that uh, dominance in the Netherlands. I have a dominant position right now. Not a bad shot, but a little too much speed. So I keep distance between the white and red. So I have to um, solve that. Little PK shot here to get a, 
a bit more space on the red ball so the white ball has a little bit more space to roll in position which it does uh, it rolls behind each other but um, a cushion first shot will solve that uh, very easily and now I try to get a straight line on the white ball so I can send that one towards the long cushion and make sure it stops rolling exactly when it's at the right side of the red ball which it does uh, pretty good I do have the city made again right now but it's still tricky so I keep playing toward uh, until I have a more reliable position need a few more shots for that I don't count it towards the um, shots needed because it's still not the best position which it is now so I had 23 shots needed to get this position a bit much but I'll take it any day all right good stuff third try I always like to uh, play the yellow ball first uh, but if it's too easy to play I'll take the white one but they're both pretty easy right now so I play a um, sensitive follow through gather shot hoping the red ball will stop yeah maybe half a meter uh, sooner so I could gather towards the corner a little bit too much speed Trying to get an angle on the white, wa white ball here so I can send it a short long short. I can do it right now but the red ball will move as well. That's not exactly a bad thing but it's pretty difficult to predict where everything's going to stop rolling if you do that. Good chance here. A lot of amorti. Very thick on the red ball to send it um, three, four cushions towards the white. Didn't play that very well. And this is, I think, the uh, best shot I played the entire practice. I play a Massey shot towards the right side of the long, right side long cushion. I like playing shots like this. Of course, it's very risky. Um, but I'm in practice, so even if I do miss, um, I can easily just accept that. And it shows... That I am able to play shots like that, with which gave, which will give confidence. Yeah, one cushion, two cushion shot. Trying to get that white ball as close to the red as I can. Not succeeded, uh, but I get a good position nonetheless. Again, white. I want to make sure it stops rolling exactly when it's at the red, at the right side of the red ball. Which it does. You can also see at the right top corner that the number turned green, which will indicate that I have a City American. Quick and effectively. Thumbs up. Alright, there we go again. Fourth try. I'm kind of hoping I get a. a a more difficult position now these positions are more like the positions you'll see uh, when you play a match yourself here I'm gonna play a lot of left English to go short cushion long cushion short cushion I'm trying to stay close to the white ball because the white ball is in a pretty good position it has a, a great arrival so I don't have to play the perfect shot this is a good possibility one cushion towards the white ball and I sent the red ball long cushion, short cushion, long cushion and then long cushion again. Doesn't result in a perfect gather but I get them all three towards the downside short cushion which is uh, a good place to start. Trying to get on top of this red ball, I don't go uh, far enough so I cannot gather the red ball. Trying to go towards the white ball and get a good position on the red which I will gather using the length of the table my cue ball two cushions red ball three maybe four cushions and hopefully I'll get a good roll which I get going towards the situation or not really sure how you say that but it was a good opportunity to get the city American 
in one shot. Good shot. Still a little far from the short cushion. So not really a city mid can. Um, but it's not bad as well because I'm close um, towards the corner. And a lot of distance from the short cushion will help me uh, go through that corner. Trying to get a good position on the white ball. Send that two cushions. And turn the position towards the long cushion. Very good. Ten shots needed to get the, uh, the best position. Very happy with that. Thumbs up. Last try. Or at least for this video. When I practice things like this, I maybe do this 20 or 25 times. I like doing this because it, it doesn't uh, bore me. Now I can do this a long time and still have fun doing it. So for me, it's a great practice to keep playing. Because good training is important, but also just um, playing with uh, the game and doing the game in any way will uh, make you a better player. Yeah, nice shot right there. One cushion with my cue ball. A lot of left English to send the red ball uh, on the right side of the white, which I do pretty good. Had a good chance there to get the uh, City American with one shot. Didn't went far enough, uh, far enough with my white yellow ball, so I have to uh, repair that, which I do right here. Immediate shot through the corner right there. I get the opportunity, so I take it. Six shots needed. And I already got the uh, ultimate position. But this is a pretty good uh, practice uh, session for me. Alright, that's it. That was the end of the video. You see I continue playing. But for the video, it was the last try. Um, this was my first English video. Um, please let me know in the comments how you... Uh, how you experienced it and if you can help me uh, in any way. Subscribe uh, please to this brand new channel which will help more people uh, find this channel and uh, learn billiards. Like the video um, that will help my channel a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Have fun playing billiards. I see you in the next video. Later.